So my name's Rhiannon, um, I am the EHS Apprentice, so that basically stands for Environmental Health and Safety. That's a hard question to answer because there's such a variety of things you can be doing. Um, there's lots of inspections and audits, um, so uh, testing, you know, fire alarms, making loads of noise, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, but some of the exciting stuff is actually getting on the shop floor, uh, looking at the machinery that we use, you know, see it, looking at the garden, looking at how it works, making sure it's all safe, protected, it's not going to hurt anyone. So there, there's such a variety of things to be doing. So my name's Amrit Chima and my role here is a continuous improvement trainee. So that's basically like we focus on a certain cell, certain area of the business and find the problems, um, the corrective actions and then my job at the minute is just kind of like understand how we can implement that um, through like research and stuff like that. Do your research, uh, make sure you uh, do all that, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Um, but I would say go for it because uh, I'm, I'm a little bit older. I came into an apprenticeship at a later date. Uh, I started when I was 23 um, and I found a lot of people when you were looking for jobs were looking for experience. Um, and I think, you know, doing an apprenticeship that gives you that experience because you, you are learning on the job. Uh, so personally, I would say do your research and, you know, think about the experience you'll get. Um, it was either this or uni, but I don't think I was a fan of uni from the start because I had a sibling that went um, and I just kind of saw it through her, like how she, how it's, how the academic side works and it just wasn't for me. I'm more of a practical person. Um, I went to sixth form. I learned through like a theory based kind of environment. So it just, I just, through, through that, I just knew that uni was going to be much more like that, but like on like a next level. Um, so I was like, I just want something more practical, something more easy to learn from, which works for me. This environment just works for me, so. Um, well, probably because, as I said, my, my job, although I'm, I'm not doing a STEM activity as such, uh, I need to know about the STEM activities to make sure that they can be carried out safely. Um, so that's, that's probably my reasoning for helping with the STEM. Um, and also to just promote that there's so many other things to STEM. It's not just your typical science, you know, technology, engineering, maths. There's so many things behind the scenes that you need to do to get right to in order to do those STEM activities. Um, mainly due to the fact that I like apprenticeships and it's just like, I think it is the way to go. That is my biased opinion. I think every student should definitely look into that a lot more. Um, when I was in sixth form, uni was quite heavily um, like looked after and it, like six forms would always say like look like apply for unis and stuff like that um, but in my in my case I'm like I just I want to make it as I want to contribute to making it as known as possible that apprenticeships are like it's a thing you can go for it like it's really good and stuff so I think the more helpers there are for these events the better.